start with the basics of survival analysis in this uh, video. In my previous video we discussed about the importance of stratification in medicine by identifying patient populations who must likely respond to specific interventions. Survival analysis and modeling is a very powerful tool in statistics which allows us to analyze data here longitudinal on the occurrence of event. An event could be death, injury, onset of disease, recovery from illness, recurrence free or progression free and so on. In cancer studies, typical research questions are like what is the impact of certain clinical or molecular characteristics on patient survival? What is the probability that an individual survives, let's say, during five years? And are there significant differences in survival between groups of patients? In this video, I aim to teach you some survival analysis methods by which you will be able to answer typical research question like this. So there are two main methods in survival analysis. Kaplan-Meier, which is technically an estimator for surviving survival probabilities. Also, we have Lagrange test for comparing the survival curves of two or more groups. Second, Cox proportional hazards regression model, uh, which allows us to describe the, if, the impact or effect of uh, variables on the survival. As I already mentioned, survival analysis focuses on the expected duration of time until occurrence of an event of interest such as relapse or death. However, the event may not be observed for some individuals within the study time period and as a result, it produces the so-called censored observation. Here to start, we're going to look at survival analysis without censoring. It means all observations or subjects experienced the event by the end of the study. Let's look at an example of survival times of cancer patients. Patient with different advanced cancer of stomach, bronchus, colon, ovary, or breast, who were treated in addition to a standard treatment with ascorbate. The outcome of interest is the survival time. Okay, so in this regard, Consider uh, these two questions. What is the prognosis for a patient with a specific type of cancer? And the second question could be, do survival times or differ from organ affected? As you can see from the left table, we have number of patients in row order and five cancer subtypes. You will see the average and median of survival times, which is based on days for all these patients in this uh, in the right table. The histogram plots of two cancer subtypes, colon and stomach, of the patient illustrate a severe difference between averages and medians due to the skewness of the distribution. Perhaps comparing these two groups is not fairly straightforward, but there are some non-parametric tests as well as parametric tests by which we could compare these two groups. Not to mention that 
for the non-parametric one of course we need to firstly apply an appropriate transformation such as logarithmic one let's look at the details of the kaplan meyer method as a non-parametric method which we are using to estimate the survival probability from observed survival times regarding the characteristics of this function first of all s0 equals 1 means all observations or subjects are alive at the beginning of the study the value of this function is decreasing over time this means st is a decreasing function a curve representing this function describes survival using one categorical uh, factor or variable here you can see an example of two survival curves illustrating early and late event as this function can be interpreted as a proportion it can easily be estimated by the observed proportion of subject surviving time point t for example here we can estimate the survival curve for ovary cancer patients as you can see here the following six event times were recorded and correspondingly we calculated an estimate of this function for different event times now if we plot this estimate values we will get this uh, uh, graph uh, and as this plot suggests this curve is estimated using a step function as steps are only at the times where event were observed step size at time t is calculated according to the uh, formula which uh, i earlier actually mentioned it means number of subject with event at time t divided by number of events and the estimate is right continuous so next part we will look at the survival analysis with sensory Thank you.